Hey everyone, it's Daryl from Houseplant Journal. In today's video, I'm just gonna show you what to do if your calathea starts to get these curled in leaves. The calathea is one of those plants that you need to keep evenly moist. So in this particular example here, you know, I kind of let it go a little bit too dry. And so leaves curling is the very obvious sign that this is happening. But of course, you can always check the soil before the leaves get to this point uh, and see how dry the soil is. And with the calathea, the moment it gets a little bit lighter, uh, you know, because you can easily lift the pot to see how much water is in there, uh, then that's really the time that you have to get it back to evenly moist again. So we're just going to take this over to the sink and show you how to water it. Okay, so let's just bring it over here to the sink. Down here. I'm just going to turn on some uh, lukewarm water. Actually, it's not even lukewarm, it's more like tepid, room temperature. I'm just going to completely soak the soil. And I can easily do this because there are drainage holes, so I know that even if I'm giving it lots of water like this, I know that all the extra water is going to drain away and the soil will be holding whatever amount of water it can possibly hold. And I just see a couple of uh, older dead leaves in here, so I'm just going to clip them out. Now they don't they don't come out as easily as like a, a pothos or a monstera leaf where they just kind of turn yellow and then fall off. These ones you have to you have to clip them out. And honestly, you know, clipping out dead leaves, people always ask, oh, what does it mean? Is it like too uh, is it like too dry? Is it too wet? You know. If you are comfortable with the light and you know how to water it, then you can let nature take its course. And nature includes both growth and decay. So I know there's nothing to worry about. There we go, that's good. So now let's just bring it back to where it will grow. for a little bit <laughs> okay so she's gonna be happy again in a couple hours in fact I'm gonna include a time-lapse uh, video so I'll put that over here somewhere but that's how you water and for any of you who are concerned about overwatering, watering let, let me give you this little uh, tidbit here the proper way to water is to fully soak the soil and as long as there are drainage holes then the soil is not going to hold any more than it can possibly hold. But in order for that water to get used up the plant needs to be getting the right light. So if I had done this soaking and then I put it back far away from the window where it has a very constricted view of the sky then that water won't get used up very quickly and in fact over time you keep doing this not only is the soil going to stay moist for a longer time the plant is also starving because it hasn't been working, it hasn't been photosynthesizing. And that's really how root rot happens. So I put the plant over here and its view of the sky is nice and wide. Therefore, I can confidently soak its soil whenever it's time to water. And so the key to avoiding root rot is really to get the light right. And if you want to learn more about how to place your plants in order to optimize their light, I'm going to include a link to my other video below and that should be really helpful because it'll work for any situation. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and be sure to catch the next one. I'm Daryl, thanks for watching. Bye.